Okay. Okay. Your great grandfather's name was Laser Tzvi or Herman. And, and the Weiss is W E I S C, which is Hungarian spelling. Okay. All right. And they lived in, and, and your great grandmother's name was Adele in English. I'm not sure what the Jewish, the, the no. Jewish name is Adele or what. Your great grandmother died in uh, 1918 in that big flu epidemic. And uh, and Grandpa, he's both our grandfathers, except he's once mm -hmm. more removed for you. And he he uh, remarried his wife's sister. Okay. All right. And his wife's sister had children, another branch of the family that we used to know quite well, but whom I don't know if you knew. Uh, uh, their, their name was Bloom. That, that we had Pauline Bloom. I don't know if you ever met Pauline. She used she was a spinster, okay. and she used to take care of, of, of newborn babies. That was her occupation. Mm -hmm. Anyway, well, he married her because that's what they did in those days. And uh, they lived in what is now Slovakia. <laughs> okay, all, all of right. this is contrary to what. I had We're not I Hungarian. Knew. But you see, that part of Slovakia is adjoined Hungary, and the people there were Hungarian speaking Slovaks. Okay. And then eventually, that, at that time, as part of the Austro Hungarian Empire, and uh, they, uh, you know, then eventually after World War II, uh, it, it, well, after World War I, Czechoslovakia was established. Right. Do you and know what, what the name of the town was, the village? Uh, it was a town called Uihel. I, I can, I'll, I'll think some of the names, but okay. I, I don't, it was called Patka, Patka Rusk in, in uh, Slovak. Okay. Uh, and the nearest big city was called Munkac in Hungarian. It is, after World War II, the Russians sliced off that tip where they used to live, and it's not part of the Ukraine. And the biggest city is Munkakaj, became Mukachevo. Okay. Which is very near where they lived. And uh, then I, I may have names somewhere, so I'm not sure. I, I used to know all the names, and it's, you know, I don't remember exactly. So. They had nine children. The oldest was a boy, Lewis. Okay, I, I found the, records the of Lewis. Girls. What? I found records. Was Lewis Olga's mm -hmm. father? Yeah. Okay. All right. Loyish was his name. Now he and Loyish in turn had nine children. What would happen with Uncle Lewis, Loyish or Lewis, is he came to the United States. And he worked in the Chevrolet plant in Tarrytown, and he became an American citizen. And then, this was before World War I. And he went back to Europe because by European standards, he then became, he saved his money, and he got married mm -hmm. and had a big family. And like Olga and her, her sisters, uh, they, they, they came to this country, they were able to come uh, because of the fact that their father was an American citizen. I, I won't go into that in depth, but his ch the other part of his family went to England. I, I have to interrupt for just one. two quick questions. Number one is Hugo Weiss, H Hugo, Hugo Prince. Hugo uh, Prince was a, a cousin his mother was a cousin. Okay. His mother was a sister of, 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 she was our great aunt, your great aunt. Okay. All right. And she was my aunt and your great aunt, your mother's aunt. But she was one of the nine children from our grandfather. From the first marriage? 
from the first marriage. From the first yeah. marriage. There were no children from the second marriage. Okay. She already had a family, the Bloom family that I told you about. Okay. Yeah. So. I'll try to piece this together well, this on, on paper. complicated. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Binary tree. So you have... I, should, I, so, I was thinking I should write this. So pencil. Olga came here. Mm -hmm. uh, her, Olga and Herman were able to come here because her father was a citizen. I won't go into Herman's family at all. All right. I mean, Thank you. My capacity is uh, I mean, limited. That gets even more complicated. Yeah. No bandwidth All for right. that. Well, Olga had one sister that came here, and uh, she had another sister, Elsa, who they brought to Montreal. Thank you, so much. you want a pad? I have. Actually, a pad. I brought paper too. Oh. I have a pad here. You want to? I got a pad. Wait a minute. Here. Okay, so. He's got one. Alfred, I've got it. He's got it. What kind? Okay. So Lewis was a, had nine children. Yeah. And one of them being Olga. Yeah. He had four, let me see, I think there were four, three boys. You had Alex. The, well, none of the boys came to the United States. Mm -hmm. uh, of his children, uh, the what happened is that Olga and I forget the sister that lived in Brooklyn that came here. She was, and uh, then her sister Elsa went. To, they brought to Montreal to Canada, and her children. One, she had three boys. One of them is still in Montreal, very wealthy. Mm -hmm. And two of them live in Brooklyn, who I'm in touch with occasionally. My mother told me about someone who is a relative on the Weiss side named Bobby Frankel. Well, well, we'll get to Bobby. Okay, I've got so many questions. Yeah. Then, okay. of the, the uh, so of Lewis's children, then he had, uh, coming to London, you had David and Alex. They, David was in medical school, mm -hmm. and Alex was in law school, and at that time, Hitler, before Hitler invaded Czechoslovakia, the, the Czechoslovakia and Great Britain had an agreement, they didn't need visas to travel one country to the other. Hmm. So the two boys saw what was going on, they couldn't persuade the rest of the family to leave and they, they moved, they left college and they went to England. Later on, they brought Bobby, their sister Bobby, and her husband. Bobby was not only in a concentration camp, but she was one of these, what's the name of that, they had a movie about it, the guy that uh, had a factory and he saved people. Theresienstadt? Not Theresienstadt, no. This was a movie about this. Oh, movie. you're talking about Schindler's, Schindler's List. She was one of Schindler's people. Schindler saved her. And she met her. Of course, her name was Bobby Weiss. Her real name wasn't Bobby. That was a nickname. Hmm. I, I, she told me her real name, and I don't remember. So, uh, so after the war, they brought Bobby and her husband, whose name was Frankel, with an E, mm -hmm. uh, to London. He was a pharmacist. Hmm. Nice man. Bobby was wonderful. She was like, like Alga in duplicate. Then they had another brother, Borna, who was a refugee. He was in a camp. And then uh, he, he, somehow or other he was in France. And they were able to rescue him and they brought him to England. Borna is a child of Lewis? Or? Of Lewis. Okay. So that accounts for four of them. And then you had Bobby, I mean you had Olga, mm -hmm. and her sister who came here, whose name I don't remember, mm -hmm. she died some years ago, and Elsa up in Montreal. So that's accounting for seven. There were two more, and I'm trying to think, I don't, I think they died. 
Okay. I don't remember in, their names. In camps? Or? In camps. Mm -hmm. Olga and Herman, they escaped to Budapest, and they were able to get papers and pass as Christians, and they lived out the war in Budapest. Married? They this? got married in Budapest. Okay. Hugo also was in a camp, Hugo Prince, right. and he was in Budapest. Uh, there are some articles I found about yeah. about him yeah. and his suit against the Germans. Yeah. Yes. So, uh, Hugo's another long story. Right. All right. Uh, okay. Uh, so, I'm I'm hesitant to go much much deeper because I know that. Well, I, we're not. We've I, told, go, I told them. Point. What time is it now? It's quarter after eleven. It's about a forty-five minute drive. There. Okay. I've got about an uh, another. Okay, we twenty five minutes well, on I can my meter. Well, I continue this later. Well, no, I want to. I, mean, I want to get on to the Regina what? and all right. and Dora come all to right. the U.S. Well, piece. I mean, all right. Then uh, I told you about the oldest brother. Then what happened is Uncle Benny came here about nineteen hundred. Then uh, he met Aunt Dora. Uncle Benny was a bespoken tailor. You know what that is? No, a custom no. tailor. Oh, custom. Okay. He learned in Europe. Okay. And so he met Aunt Dora. He, he had a shop in Harlem. Harlem was very Jewish at that time. Mm -hmm. And he met Aunt Dora. And they got married. We had a cousin, or they had a first cousin, who lived in Tarrytown. Okay. Named Pollock. She married a guy named Pollock. And... That's how, that's how the they family up, migrated? They went up to visit her okay. in Tarrytown. They liked it, and they decided to move there. So in 1906, Uncle Benny and Aunt Dora moved to Tarrytown, and he opened up a, a dry cleaning and tailoring shop. Mm-hmm. So then... When did... Um, can I back up one second? Yeah. When did Dora come to the U.S.? Dora came to the U.S. about 1900. By and herself? She came, huh? By herself? No, she came with an aunt who lived in Brooklyn. I remember the aunt. She was a prim little old lady. She used to, she was in her 90s, and the family used to bring her up to tarry down. I don't remember her name. But she was the first of, the first of my the, Weiss. the Weiss families that I yes. know. To, yeah. to come. Then Aunt Dora and Uncle Benny, they brought over first, they brought over my mother, mm -hmm. and then they brought over Aunt Shari, mm -hmm. a butterman. Right. And then on the Abraham side, they brought over the, my, you know, my father and, uh, and my Uncle Manny, who's not a rel relative of yours. Okay. No, but I understand the Abraham family yeah. spreads so wide. So we won't get into away. that. Thank right. you for That's my limited capacity. Story. All right. Okay. All right. Then, uh, so that, that takes care of the Weiss family in this country. And then you had, I don't know if they brought over, Hugh, I think they brought Hugo over. Mm -hmm. Yes, they did. They brought Hugo but that was he came from a concentration obviously after the yeah. war he was in, he, he, he everybody in Europe knew about Tarrytown. so uh, was when Dora arrived did she live on the Lower East Side when I don't know where she lived don't know. okay first she came with yeah. an aunt and they I don't know where they lived I mean beyond that I don't know okay I try to find out like with when I was very close to the cousins in England, mm -hmm. and and I talked to David and Alex. They do. They they knew our grandparents. They did not know beyond our grandparents about the great grandparents. They had no idea of who who the great grandparent. They died, okay. bef the, where they came from, or where, where they were established. Beyond our grandparents, I we can't go back. Mm -hmm. and, I talked to the cousins who lived there and knew them. Mm -hmm. 
Now, our grandfather, my, well, grandpa, I used to, I, when I went to Hebrew school, I learned how to write in Yiddish. Mm -hmm. And I used to write letters in Yiddish to him, and he wrote them back to me. I wish I had saved them. I don't, I didn't. Well. I'm probably the that, only one of his grandchildren in America that ever communicated with him. Well, family, obviously, yeah. has been important to you for a long time. Yeah. So, uh, then, of course, uh, and they brought your mother over, to, your grandmother over, too. Right. Yeah. Okay. And she lived with them for a while. Where she met your, your uh, grandpa father, I don't know. Okay. So, I mean, there was a big schism there because he was a Litvak and she was Hungarian. But, like, my mother and Litvak? father... Huh? He was a Litvak? Yeah. Ethnically, he was a Litvak. Yeah. Culturally, to me... He wasn't Hungarian. Definitely. I know he wasn't hung Hungarian. He was no, Austrian. No, they didn't speak Hungarian. I don't know what he spoke, if anything. He spoke Yiddish. He spoke, they spoke Yiddish, but it... If he spoke Lithuanian, he didn't have anywhere to speak to. Okay. To me, maybe this is way, way off, but yeah. my understanding of Litvak versus Galiziana was... No, Galicianas were the Hungarians. They, they were Hungarian. Central Hungar Europe. So it's only... You had the, Lit the people from Litvak and Lithuania and Poland and Latvia. Right. Okay, but Litvaks were culturally closer to Yakers. You know, to to to, what? to German Jews. No, I I. The Galicianers were closer to the German Jews. Okay. Because they were part of the the Galicianers were came from Galicia, right. which was part of the Austro-Hungarian Empire. Okay. So I probably have it all backwards in my yeah. own head. Yeah, the Lit Litvox were part of the Polish kingdom originally. Okay. And then Poles and the Russians, and, and then you had the Russians. You had basically, you had the Galicianers were the people who came from uh, Czechoslovakia and Hungary. Brian. In Romania. Yeah. With a name like Brian, Brian this, is, this is not your ethnic background, I trust. He's Irish. No, no, but it's, um, it's my second favorite background. How's that? <laughs> my wife's too. Yeah. Macaulay. Is my, yeah. my wife is Anne Macaulay. Well, my favorite is Irish, but my second favorite is Jewish. Brian, by the way, is an Irish tenor. Oh, really? Yeah. 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 Among that. It was in the it was in the genes, but I'm I'm a, I'm a lyric tenor, okay. so I do a classical repertoire, opera. Right. So anyway. Okay, I'm, <laughs> Thank I'm you. jumping back Thank and you. forth. Yeah. Yeah. So then, you also had. Uh, another brother, oh yeah, here's one other brother. Uh, he, you had one brother that moved to Israel after the war. Who had one brother? What Olga. Lo Olga had a brother. Yeah. Okay. He moved to Israel. And what was his name? They lived in Haifa. I know that my mother... Yenu was his name. Pardon? Yenu Weiss. He moved to Haifa. This is all part of Lewis's what? branch, yes? That's all part of Lewis's this family. He was Lewis's son. Okay. All right, so now I have accounted for eight. There's one more. I'm trying to think of who, who the other one was. All right, I can't think right now. I mean, that's a lot of people. Okay, so then... These are the ones that I knew. I just, I, I know the uh, tip of the iceberg. Hmm? Yeah. I, I know your family. I know Tarrytown. Yeah. And well, in Tarrytown, so you had Dora, you had Regina, mm -hmm. then you had your grandmother, and Aunt Shari. But my grandmother never lived in Tarrytown. No. She came well, she did when she came here. Okay. And then huh. she got a job or something in New York, and that's where she met your grandfather. Okay, so she was in Tarrytown first. Yeah, they brought hmm. her okay. out. Yeah. What was it like for her to visit? I mean, because you have you have three sisters who see each other daily. Yeah. <laughs> or not daily, but well, probably we, fairly. We were very often. close. We went back and forth all the time. It, I mean, I grew up. 
uh, like I still remember your uh, mother you know she got polio when she was in her not even like eight or nine or mm -hmm. ten and you know and then it affected her leg and all the and she was going from one doctor to another at that time I mean she went through a terrible trial and, and uh, your grandmother Pauline I mean she was wonderful uh, you know the, uh, just uh, you know your mother was need a lot of care yeah and it's amazing your mother did what she did there was uh, a real strength to her. Hmm? There was a real strength oh, to her yeah. um, as a result. Yeah. And a matter of fact, you know, your other grandmother, your father's mother, when uh, they got married, she was dying. Yeah. And I remember the wedding, your mother and father got married in your grandmother's apartment. She died about three days later. Mm -hmm. And your grandfather, I don't know if I knew him or not. Uh, the little pieces I can put together. Hmm? He, he hmm. was um, your father's father. He was a very, very disciplined man. Yeah. Um, I don't I, remember I, him. But I remember your grandmother. Uh huh. Nice little old she, lady. She clearly. Yeah. Fanny. Yeah. She came from. Cumberland, Maryland. She was born in, from German Jews who had moved out. All right. Yeah, I don't remember that part. But that's a whole All other right, story. Yeah. So not your area of expertise. Yeah. So then, of course, I th I think you do you know like Andrew and Uncle Benny had four children. That I've got, and in fact, I made a family tree. Mm -hmm. I I used it's crude in Excel, but I've got it. Who is Rose Weiss? Rose Weiss. Yeah. Oh, Rose is the missing. That was uh, our aunt. She was the youngest one. That is... She She did, never came to the United States. I've got a record of a Rose Weiss. Coming to the United States? Um, excuse me, let me let me go check. Well, I don't think so. Or Regina came. Well, that I know. No, we not. There was a Rose Weiss. She was the youngest... Of the line. I don't have my reading glasses. I never knew course. her. Here. And I don't think any. Here is her Rose Weiss in the 19. I think this is. It can't see, but I think it's the 1940 census, living at 65 something. It doesn't say what what street it is. Benjamin Rose Helen Sylvia Max in in Tarrytown. Oh, that's a different Weiss family. That is Max Weiss. Right. Max, who, yeah. who lived till nineteen till nineteen eighty five. Yeah. So she had longevity on her side too. Different family. Yes. Okay. And there was an interrelationship there, a very a sort of. But the, that was mostly like Max Weiss and his. His father had a sister, I don't remember his sister's name, it was Rose or not, but his father, Max Weiss's father, came from the same area where my father came from. Okay. You know. And, and where was that? They were not related to the Weiss family. Okay, but the Abram, were they... But they were related... They were from the same town, the, village, and... Yeah, they came from... They came from Kizmen, which is not part of the Ukraine. Okay. It's a, that's my father's family. That's, okay, so it's closer to Abraham, in fact. Yeah, they were okay. closer to the, they were related more to the Abrahams, not the Weiss. Okay. I but think their I, name was Weiss, but it's W-E-I-S. Okay, so I confused it. And yeah. yes, I, the software that I was on did merge Weiss double S and Weiss S Z. Yeah. It, it, of course, then Max Weiss married uh, Ruth Abraham, who was half W E I S C. Right. <laughs> and they had a daughter, Linda. So I'll, I won't feel badly about being confused on okay. that issue. Well, it's easy to get confused. I, I'm thinking that maybe we should stop okay. for now. All right, we're going to go. So that I can get off without a uh, huge New York City parking ticket. Okay, I think we'll go. All right. Closing out.